Hello again, this is Steve at Greenfield H2O. I apologize for the lighting. It's a little bit dark in here. Um, here's the setup on this one. Uh, we have the nickel cell on the left. And on the right, we have a stainless steel cell that is a uh, current zero current leakage cell. Also, the plates have been sandblasted. What I wanted to do, what I wanted to do in this video is essentially the same as the last video. I want to compare MMWs between the two cells. So um, we've got it set up right now where the uh, nickel cell is running, and I'm going to do a uh, MMW on the nickel cell first. And uh, I was trying to think of a way to compare these two because they they bo both have uh, different resistances. So, um, the, I think the best way is to compare them by watts. I can generate the same amount of watts in each one and compare the uh, output um, in watts. So that's what we're going to do, uh, same as the last one. Um, I'm going to set it... Set okay, so what I did is I uh, ran MW tests on the stainless cell. So this, these are the stainless cell numbers right here. Um, <clears throat> I ran the same wattages as I did um, on the, the test, uh, the last test I did. And I just compared them to these nickels, nickel right here. The nickel MMWs right here um, at the same watts. So, uh, wow. Um, Properly prepared uh, stainless cell can uh, have the same efficiencies as nickel. That's that's what I'm getting here. Um, so if you look at this 150 watt test here, we've got 5.33 mmW. <coughs> Excuse me. And same one, 150 watts here, 5.33. Four or five. So that kind of caught me off guard. So what I did is I ran, I ran the rest of the tests, uh, range from 5.68 all the way down to, I guess the lowest was 5.37, but pretty close, all in the same range. That's the uh, and the nickel here. Um, you know, all in the same range, all the way through the test. But here's the deal. I had some big hopes for this nickel, and uh, I mean, unless I've got something set up wrong here, I, I mean, I've, I've checked it. Uh, I compared them in uh, the wattages, and uh, basically uh, the nickel cell was uh, 0 0.08 mmW. Uh, less efficient than the stainless steel cell um, that was prepared with the uh, media blasted plates and uh, weld on 16 on the on the holes. Okay, we got a little update here. Um, I was going to post this video the way it was, um, and I hesitated. So uh, I talked to a couple of my friends and. Uh, they wanted me to redo the tests and uh, take into account the temperature temperature of the water and I didn't do that in the last test so what I did is um, I ran, a, ran another set of tests this time I ran both cells again and uh, here should my results, they're really sloppy here that's, that's when I was taking so I, I redid them onto this page here and okay what I did is I started at the highest wattage here's how I did the watts 150 I went in uh, 20 watt increments all the way up and I started at the highest wattage because uh, in the last test the cell was unstable um, at the higher temperature at that wattage so I started at the higher wattage and the lower temperature here's the temperature column here and um, 
I took a test as the water was heating up I took the test by the time I got to the top it was kind of leveling out at the 150 and I did the same thing over here with the uh, stainless steel, this is stainless steel side um, started at 82 86 all the way up to 96 degrees so and then here's my wattages the same way I started started at the lowest temperature and worked my way up to the higher temperatures um, well guys uh, same thing same thing there's the MMWs in the blue and you can see it the stainless steel cell is outperforming the nickel cell and the reason for that you know what I really can't tell you I don't know the nickel has less resistance and you can see that by the plate voltages at the same watts the plate voltage is lower so there's less resistance so guys uh, if you got any theories on this love to hear your comments um, I'm using the same equipment that I've always used um, so these are my findings but anyway that that's the end of this video in the next uh, next video I want to do um, I want to compare the gas quality like I mentioned in the last video um, and see if we get a bigger boom with the nickel gas as compared to the uh, HHO gas or not the HHO the stainless gas and I have one more build to do on the nickel um, I was Larry Larry uh, HHO PWR was kind enough to send me the scraps of his uh, uh, Teflon cell that he built built he built an 8x8 and the, the cutouts were uh, a 6x6 six six, which is perfect for my plates because they're 4x6 so uh, I'm gonna try and duplicate his cell um, I've got the exact same gasket material here same gaps I'm gonna try and recreate his cell with the nickel and uh, that'll be uh, my next build with the nickel cell we'll see if we can get some better efficiencies out of that cell okay guys this is the end of this video uh, please leave your comments and I'll try and answer them um, and thanks for watching